Hi there. Welcome back to Synchro Modeler tutorial series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to navigate through our homepage and the main features of the modules we have in Synchro Modeler and the workflows enabled by them. When you open Synchro Modeler, the program will automatically open the previous project that you interacted with. In the main window, you can see the thumbnails of models. By clicking on the hamburger icon at the top left corner, you can expand the backstage menu. You will see more options available when you work with your model. On the top right, you can see your user credential. If you want to open another project to work on, you can click on the drop-down list. You can also see a detailed list by clicking on All Projects at the bottom of the list. Now let's open a model by clicking on one of the thumbnails. You'll enter this page we call iModel Index, where you can access the information of your iModel in multiple ways. For example, you can select a model view that is saved previously, review a 2D sheet, or enter the iModel directly. You can always come back to this page by selecting iModel Index in the Backstage menu. Here we'd like to go through the main features of the modules we have in Synchro Modeler, which are Default View, Quantity Takeoff View, Area Breakdown View, and Design Change Management View. In Default View, you can review the model by moving the viewpoint, hiding and showing model elements, creating section planes, and taking measurements. Quantity Takeoff View allows you to slice elements into subdivisions, assign cost codes, and extract geometrical information. In Area Breakdown View, you can find the tools to define work area and split model elements accordingly. Lastly, Design Change Management View helps you keep track of changes by comparing different versions of design models. That's all for this video. In the following videos, we'll talk about the functionality of each module and details. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.